I just wondered, um, Dr. Field, because you're on the front lines, right? Yeah. You see the effects on um, sea life with the warming temperatures in the ocean. And you've probably read that climate report. Okay. So how did you feel when you read it? Did you just go, yeah? It was a bit more than yeah, but it was it was very it, it reinforced what we've already been learning from these animals. Um, as a veterinarian and a scientist, when my job is to help animals that wash ashore uh, in all throughout California and other places, and I see the diseases that they're coming in with, that really strikes at the heart um, and really gets to the to the cause of, of what's causing them to wash ashore. Many times it's not because of, of any natural process, but it's because of human induced changes. So climate change, especially um, a, a raise in sea level, um, that loss of critical breeding habitat for seals that reproduce on rookeries right on the water's edge. Um, sometimes the toxins, whether they're natural uh, from harmful algal blooms in the ocean or human produced, which is even more critical. And to see animals wash ashore with disease that is preventable, um, that we could have changed and that we could actually address is a huge motivator for me and anybody really who see these animals in trouble to take action. Um, I just wanna read a few comments from the UN Secretary General about the climate report. Global warming is dangerously close to spiraling out of control and the seas will rise no matter what we do. So this very much is I hate to use the phrase, but the new normal, right? So Dr. Field, how do you adjust and how do you continue to find hope that you'll be able to save these animals? I think when I see animals come into the hospital, get diagnosed with a, a treatable condition and release them, that alone gives us hope. So we know that they're, they have another chance at life. Um, but for the animals that don't make it, that is really the warning sign. That is the call um, in all of us by getting the word out to people to pay attention to what, what's happening, how we're changing the world is what helps me get through every day uh, dealing with the animals that have, you know, that are riddled with cancer or that are having seizures from, from toxins. Um, and I know that consumers can make a difference. We absolutely have. It's in an, every single one of our power to make changes at home, to buy sustainably, buy locally, um, take action, even small actions to help protect our oceans and really our entire planet as a result.